Let's get started by installing uh, Apollo and a bunch of dependencies. Let's copy all of these dependencies and install them. While they're installing, I can go into my code here and um, overview our app. So our app starts with a common structure of having app navigator and app navigator is brought to you from navigation and inside we see that we have different auth loading and main state which what we are interested in into our app state if we go to main inside main that's where we need to add our uh, connection to to graphql so let's do that first of all what we want to bring is to bring http link let's double check everything was installed so we bring http link from apollo link http we bring apollo client from apollo client and we need to bring a in-memory cache from apollo cache in memory So uh, Apollo comes with different types of cache. Um, so it has a bunch of caching solutions. One of uh, the common one that we will use is Apollo cache in memory. But if you, let's say, um, want to persist your cache to async storage, uh, you can definitely do that by, uh, using other packages. Now, when we imported that, we need to create a function and we'll call it make Apollo client. Now inside, I will receive a token that I get from uh, from my authentication, from all zero integration. And inside, I can use this token. Let's see how. First of all, I cre create HTTP link and I provide it with the URI of our uh, GraphQL endpoint. I can do that by simply go to my graphical and just copying this endpoint. Now, this will be the URI, but it's not enough. As you can see, we have authorization header that we need to pass. So let's let's do that. We will add headers, authorization. And it will have bearer, and it will have bearer token in our authorization. <clears throat> so currently we created a link. Now what else we need to create? We need to create a cache. So it basically just running a constructor on in memory cache with a new and then we need to create our client. Apollo client will have a link and cache. For our example, because it's a pretty simple one, but Apollo uh, client can get much more configuration options. So currently, we have a token and we create our client with, uh, with this function. Now, how and where we do that? So let's uh, set our state of the client with just an empty client. And then you can notice that in component mount, you get the session from our async storage. 
and after parsing it we get a token and an id so what i want to do is to create my client by running make apollo client function and passing this token inside now my client is an instance of apollo client properly configured and what is left to do is to set our state with the client whenever we do that we will be able to reference to uh, to our client later on now in render we will check if we don't have any client then we have some center spinner the predefined for uh, that we already defined i mean it, it is defined here in utils and then instead of returning drawer let's remove our drawer and instead of that we want to return apollo provider our apollo provider will get a client and this client will be passed from the state now you can notice that we haven't imported the the provider so let's do that here it's imported from react apollo now it's supposed to work now center spinner is just a simple ui with activity indicator so nothing fancy here let's see if everything is working we need to restart our app we see on the, the spinner and the problem is we had this wrong here so right now everything is working and we set up our Apollo client